Uh, today we will be talking about the new features in Assemble 2D Smart Sheets and um, the enhanced viewer that we have released recently. Assemble is a cloud-based solution and it's a data management system which helps you uh, in unlocking uh, the power of your 3D models and minimizing the risk of the project. It helps you in understanding the scope of the project and improving the project efficiency. The process of using Assemble is so simple. It's as simple as publishing the model in the cloud, managing the model in your cloud-based site, and sharing the information with other stakeholders of the project. 2D smart sheets are dynamically connected to the components in your 3D model. They will help you to understand your 2D drawings in the context of your 3D models. And also, they will help you to easily navigate between the models, plans, sections, construction details, and any other construction documents that you have in your Revit model. Uh, after publishing the model into your cloud-based system, here is the main page of your website and your cloud-based site that we provide for you. Each project has a card that you can manage and you can create more projects, control the administration settings here. Um, and I have this hospital project open in this tab. After opening up any of the project, here is the main project dashboard on the left-hand side you have the list of all of the models. And on the right-hand side, you have the list of all of saved views that you have created inside Assemble before. By clicking on Edit Project right here, you will be able to access uh, more information about the project, including project name, job codes, and descriptions. And also, you can add as many members as you like uh, to this specific project. Also, if you use any kind of building codes, including uniformat, master format, or omniclass format, you are able to click on manage assembly codes, use the codes that we have here by default, or import your own codes from Excel. Accessing the models and uh, the main assembled workstation, uh, you can just either click on one of the models or uh, one of the views. I have the architectural model open in this tab, and here is the main assembled workstations now with four main sections. On the left-hand side, we have the model tree, we have the project inventory right here, we have the 3D viewer, and we have the 2D sheets viewer. I'm going to start with the model tree. Uh, the model tree contains um, the list of all of the models that you have published into your project. You can toggle on or off any project anytime, which means you're able to federate different uh, models in one environment. And then under each model, you will be able to see all the Revit categories, all the families, and all the types. Uh, all of the information here is automatically generated uh, from your Revit models. And also, you can choose a different object uh, based on this structure. You can, for example, select all the basic walls in the project and make changes to the visibility of the objects and filter the objects right here. Uh, also, we have uh, more advanced filters uh, under visibility settings, which will work uh, with the properties uh, in our system. Right. So for now, I'm going to move on from the model tree and jump to the other sections. The project inventory, project 3D viewer, and 2D sheets viewer are connected together. Uh, when you go to the 3D viewer and hover your mouse over any of the object, it will tell you the object name instance ID and quantity. And when you click on that object, it will be selected in the 3D viewer, in the 2D sheets viewer, and also in the inventory. By clicking on the properties panel on the right hand side, you have access to um, assemble properties and model properties. Model properties are the list of all of the instance and type properties coming from the Revit model. Some of them are modifiable, but some other are read-only, and you cannot change those because they are basic design information. On top of the model properties, we have the assembled properties. These are extra properties that could be added uh, to your assembled project to make your object smarter. Anything under model properties that uh, you modify here is syncable uh, to your Revit model. You can synchronize it back to your Revit model if necessary. And any information that you um, log into assemble properties will be transferred to the newest version. Uh, one of the uh, functionalities that we have added to our viewer um, is 
uh, the explode mode. So if you have any congested areas in your 3D model that you'd like to uh, see better in more details, you can explode the model like this and have an exploded view of the models inside Assemble. And also we have added uh, the sectioning tools. Now you're able to section cut the models in X, Y, and Z planes. And also when you turn on all of them, basically you will get a section box inside Assemble. Right? So for now I'm going to turn off all of these. And you can see that I can easily move this section cut. I can hide the plane, minimize this, and see my plan in 3D. All right. The other functionality that we have added is that when you have two parallel section cuts, and the use case, for example, would be if you're using and if you're viewing a specific level in your project, you're able to hold down uh, the control key on your keyboard and move both of these uh, sections together. This is another functionality that we have added to the viewer and the sectioning tools. Also, in the new viewer, if you double click on any of the object in the project, Assemble will zoom into that object. So no matter where the object is located, you can do that. Also, you have uh, the ability to see the x-ray view of all of the objects. It will especially help you in finding the small objects in the project. And also you have access to the x-ray opacity and ghosting opacity. So when you're doing an x-ray mode, you will be able to adjust the opacity of the x-ray mode. Right? We have added some uh, new functions as well, like the orthographic mode. And you can uh, switch between these two. And also we have added the marquee zoom, where you can drag a window and assemble to zoom into that window for you. This is especially helpful when you want to uh, reset the center of rotation and the center of panning and spinning the model. So as I mentioned, the 2D models are uh, connected to your 3D viewer and to the inventory. You can click here and see all of the sheets that are published to assemble. For publishing the sheets to assemble, you will get an option uh, inside our publisher where Assemble asks you if you want to publish uh, none of the sheets, all of the sheets, or based on specific sheet sets. And then um, the 2D objects are dynamic, so you can click on any of these objects inside the Assemble environment and select those objects here. And then um, also we have added another function. Uh, which is the selected tab. When something is selected is in, in the 2D sheet, you're able to click on the selected tab and Assemble will show you all of the sheets that include this object. So uh, this function will especially help you when, when you have complicated construction details and you can just click on one single item and see all of the sheets that uh, that item is available on them. Right? And we have, of course, added the uh, color override in 2D as well. So you are able to uh, see color overrides uh, in 3D and 2D. And you can color code your object based on any of the properties um, that you like. Um, and also, uh, if you are using more than one screen, you can always open the 3D or 2D viewer in a new window. So if I click here, the 3D viewer will be open in a new window and it still will be connected to the 2D sheets and inventory. And you can do the same thing for the 2D viewer as well. All right? And there is no manual effort to uh, actually uh, connect your 2D sheets to the 3D model. Uh, when you're publishing your models from Revit, um, Assemble will ask you if you want to publish uh, the 2D sheets and uh, all the 2D sheets will be automatically connected to the 3D model and the inventory.